Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Hey, good to be with you today. We're in verse 9 of chapter 1, book of Acts. If you haven't been joining us, maybe you just jumped in, you missed a couple days, I want to encourage you to go back and listen to uh, the other devotions that we've had in this uh, book. It's an amazing book written to someone named Theophilus or a group of Christians that Paul used a, a pseudonym for. Uh, because there was a lot of persecution against the Christian church at this time. Could have been somebody who was just uh, named Theophilus. You know, the word means lover of God. And so today I'm going to pray for us and we'll jump into verse 9 of this chapter. Father, thank you. God, thank you for the work of Christ and help us to have a very complete view of all that he did and, and what he does for us now. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, the Bible says in verse 9, And when they had said... Excuse me, and when he had said these things, as they were looking on, he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. This, by the way, uh, and you don't have to be a theologian to know this, this is called the ascension, right? I mean, it's, uh, it's a, it is definitely an appropriate term, very appropriate for this moment, because this is exactly what he does. He's been with them for 40 days, uh, teaching them concerning the kingdom and instructing them, giving them the great commission telling them to wait in Jerusalem until they receive the promise of the Father, the empowering of the Spirit. And then as they're there, this is what happens. He ascends, you know, he ascends maybe slowly, you know, maybe, maybe quickly. I mean, there's, there's clouds that are gathering. Um, and then ultimately what we know is he ascended to the right hand of the Father. You know, I think it's uh, common for us to talk about the perfect life of Christ. It's common for us to talk about the crucifixion his substitutionary death. It's, it's common for us to talk about the resurrection. Uh, it's not so common for us to talk about the ascension. It's kind of a piece of um, it's kind of a piece of his his existence and ministry that unfortunately gets left out. And it means a lot. Like there's a lot of weight to the ascension. You say, well, what does the ascension mean? Well, number one, it means that the sacrifice that he made was accepted and complete. It was accepted and complete because he was, as, as, because he ascended to the right hand of the, of the Father. Remember, the right hand represents the place of authority, the place of power, the place of acceptance. It means that the sacrifice that he made for humanity uh, was the perfect sacrifice. When Christ died on the cross, you remember one of the things that he said was, "It is finished." Tetelestai, the sacrifice that was made on behalf of all of humanity so that the forgiveness of sins and re reconciliation to God uh, could actually happen. It, it was made, it was made once and for all. It was sufficient, it was a one-time sacrifice. Christ doesn't need to be sacrificed over and over and over again. You t can take great hope in that because you stand before God uh, with a right standing because you believed in Jesus. The second thing is this, it's, it's that he reigns. So, you know, the, the picture, the reality of him ascending to the right hand of the Father communicates to us, it conveys to us that he is in a, a position of absolute and total authority. Um, back in Jesus' day with the king, the king would have a, a prime minister and all of the authority of the king would be invested in that individual who sat at the right hand. And so when Jesus was ascended, um, it was conveying uh, exactly what he said. And he said this to his disciples, all authority in heaven and in earth has been given to me. And then he says, go and make disciples. Paul said it this way. Paul said he was crucified, he was resurrected, he was raised in power far above all principalities, far above all powers, far above all created things. He has been uh, he has been raised so high that he, in fact, is the head of the church. And so today you can take great comfort and peace in knowing that the one that you've put your trust and faith in is absolutely all powerful. He is second to none. And the final thing is this, he intercedes. And so remember, it was a sufficient sacrifice. That's what the ascension means. It, it means that he uh, rules and reigns with absolute authority. And the third thing is this, <clears throat> it means that he has a position of intercession between you and the Father. In fact, he says this in the book of Hebrews, or the author to the book of Hebrews says this, 
Uh, he says that Christ lives forevermore to make intercession for those who come to him in faith. And so there's one mediator between man and God, and that's the man Christ Jesus. He is before the Father, bringing you, bringing your needs, bringing your petitions, advocating on your behalf. This is his current ministry in your life. I know a lot of times we think, well, what's my ministry for Jesus? What am I doing for him? Well, guess what? He's doing a lot for you. He intercedes on your behalf. You're not alone. Uh, you don't have to plead your case to the Father because the Son does that for you. And when the Son pleads your case, the Father hears. And I want to encourage you today as we think about the ascension, it's more than just, you know, uh, a little flannel graph picture that we see. It reminds us that, in fact, the work that he did on the cross was sufficient. It reminds us that he is absolute authority. It reminds us that he has a ministry for us and he intercedes. I pray today that as you focus on that, that God encourages your heart. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.